Welcome to Eco Ask Why, a podcast that dives into industrial manufacturing topics and spotlights the heroes that keep America running. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and on this podcast, we do not cover the latest features and benefits on products that come to market. Instead, we focus on advice and insight from the top minds of industry because people and ideas will be how America remains number one in manufacturing in the world. So welcome to this episode of Eco Ask Why. Uh, again, today we have our resident expert, Mr. K, our solution architect with us. We're going to be digging into a topic that could be controversial, but uh, we want to keep it as, as, as friendly as possible. We're going to be t- digging into Ethernet versus Profinet, the battle of the heavyweights. So there's two clear leaders, uh, and, and that would be those two protocols. Each commands about 30% of worldwide market share. So 60% total, but why? Kay is going to talk us through and kind of walk us through some of the the main differences in these heavyweights. So Kay, when you hear Ethernet IP, what initially comes to mind? Rockwell. 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 Okay. (laughs) Now, uh, Ethernet IP, uh, again, is is associated with uh, Rockwell due to the fact that uh, ODVA is, is the governing body. Very good. So... Jumping straight to it, when you hear Profinet, what what stands out to you there? Siemens. Siemens. Siemens, yeah. Siemens is not the only vendor that utilizes Profinet, but they are a, a big heavyweight uh, when it comes to Profinet. A lot of their components do utilize um, Profinet. Okay. So... What do you see more of, just from from your experience? Well, if you're visiting certain regions, mm-hmm. um, it's going to determine what you're going to see. For instance, uh, if you're in Europe, you're going to see a majority of Profinet, and that's uh, inherent to a lot of Siemens being utilized out in the European market. You know, GE has some. If you're in the um, North America region, there's a lot of Ethernet IP, mainly because, you know, uh, Rockwell Automation is posted up here in the Milwaukee area, you know, their headquarters. And a lot of the installed base for Rockwell is in the U.S. Right, right. So one topic that, that came up when doing research to, to sit down with you today was around determinism. So what can you tell us about that in these two protocols? Well, determinism is basically a message or instruction sent and when I should expect it. That is basically determinism. You know, there's, when we're talking about Ethernet IP and Profinet, there's really not 100% determinism in either or protocol where it was like the control net or the profi bus. Those were the deterministics protocol. They're getting better, but they're not, even with being heavyweights, they're not fully deterministic. Okay. So does speed have a factor when you're looking at these two heavyweights? For the determinism, yes and no. Uh, and again, if if I'm expecting to see uh, information passed from one device to another in referencing basically it's a jitter, right? There's not a consistent or I could determine that this is going to make it to me within this amount of time. So when you're talking about determinism, if I'm saying, okay, each package or information should get to the host, to the client, within, you know, eight millisecond, and it should stay within that eight millisecond range. Uh, If it exceeds out of there, then it's not really deterministic. But, you know, looking back at the control net, uh, Profibus, uh, some of these other protocols that are fully deterministic, uh, I could expect exactly when this next package or packet is coming to me. And that's the whole definition behind the determinism. Okay. So let, let's let's take a different take on this. I'm just thinking through. Let's draw a visual for our for our listeners. 
an actual ring. There have been some interesting fights lately. I'm not sure if you're a big fight guy, but uh, been some good ones to watch. You got the the profi net guys in one corner, mm -hmm. and then you have the Ethernet guys in in the next. And this the you want to look at you know like in a, before a fight the stat sheet you know how do they stack up? What would that profi net corner? What what would they be saying about why they're going to win this fight? Well, with uh, Profinet, uh, based on the uh, OSI seven layers, right, it, it's basically implementing a jump from your layer one, uh, which is your physical, uh, your layer two, your data link, layer three, which is the uh, IP, and then they're not utilizing TCP uh, or UDP which is a transport protocol. They uh, heavily rely and say, well, we're making this jump from three all the way into the application level, right? So that's where it's a little bit faster, you know, where Profinet has the, the upper hand. And of course, whether you're, you're biased to Rockwell's Ethernet IP or Profinet, uh, there's different view, and every view is subjective. Of course, on the Profinet side, that's what they're going to brag about. That We're, speed, so they're landing those punches faster. Well, they're they're saying that, yes, uh, we're not having to go through the TCP layer or the UDP layer. We're going directly into the application. So we're we're going to be a little bit faster than you are. Okay. So flip the, the tape to the to the Ethernet corner. For that heavyweight, what are they touting? So Ethernet IP, of course, is uh, uh, has a lot of interoperability, meaning that you know uh, information is sent and shared to the other components, and and the other components it's able to utilize and process that information. Profinet is a little bit uh, more constrained to typically Profinet, so that's where. Ethernet IP will come into play. Both sides of the ring, uh, when you're talking about the fight here, has their pros and cons. And, uh, you know, Profinet may say, all right, we're faster. Of course, Ethernet IP utilizes the SIP, right? So, which is your common, common industrial, industrial protocol. Well, a lot of devices use a SIP, right? Uh, and in addition, now, uh, really, based off of uh, IEEE 1588, which is your precision time protocol, SIP Sync is utilizing this fast connection as well. So on a motion application, the time sync could be down into the nanosecond. So, you know, there's, there's well, which one I choose, which one is better? Well, as you can see, you know, they're about half of the, they own half of the market, right, for the uh, Ethernet base. It's really a preference on your installed base. You know, uh, obviously, if you're doing a greenfield and having to select, a little bit more consideration would have to be considered. But if the installed base is already in your facility, obviously, you're going to have to stay with that protocol, just understanding the pros and cons of each. Right. So if, if you're on in a situation where you, you're working with both, can the protocols convert to each other? Definitely. So as mentioned, uh, both Ethernet IP and Profinet shares and can operate on the exact same medium, right? Uh, which is your standard 802.3 or your 802.11. One thing to consider is, uh, obviously, if you don't need them talking to each other, they should be isolated. But in terms of the medium, uh, the hardware, they're utilizing your standard CAT6, CAT7, or RJ45 connection. Okay. So uh, resources. If you got engineers out there that are listening and they're working with both protocols, what resources would you recommend for them to to reach out to to you know further their education on on either. So if you're looking to learn more about Ethernet IP, 
ODVA has a lot of documents, media selections, guide, white papers, there you go. The Profinet uh, PI uh, organization has a lot of documents that can be reviewed and uh, help you specify up your, your connections and your uh, overall design. Okay. So let's, let's just to wrap it up here. Okay. I really appreciate everything you've done. So you're a trainer and you only get to go to one corner. Which corner are you heading to for the, uh, the ethernet versus profinet fight? Well, obviously because, uh, my geographical, uh, location, uh, and I do have a lot more background in the, uh, the ethernet IP realm that, that would be my protege there. Uh, I'd have to go to that corner, Chris. Uh, but that's, that's not to say that, you know, the Profinet side won't put up a good fight, but I'm pretty sure we'll we'll take it out of the ring. I hear you. I hear you. Well, Kay, thank you so much for your for your time. As, as always, the knowledge that you bring to our listeners. Uh, if there are more topics around industrial networks that you'd like to hear, please reach out to us. Leave comments. We definitely read those. We will respond, and then we'll bring our resident expert, Mr. Kay, back in. And, and address them as best we can. So have a great day. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit ecosy.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.